Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. I'm here with the one and only Sandra Salomon yes. Fragrance. Hi. And make sure you head on over to Sandra Salomon Fragrance's channel. So right here, right now, we are going to compare two fantastic fragrances. This is Gisada Ambassador Intense and this is Gisada Ambassador. Without further ado, let's get to it. Yeah, and like usual, we have prepared test strips with the dry down. And when I spray these on, oh yeah. my god. Her reaction, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's start with the original Gisada Ambassador. How are you enjoying the original? I am enjoying this like crazy. This opening is so beautiful. And when I spray this on, this whiff that just comes at you is sweet, it's fruity, it's fresh, it's so full and rich in such a beautiful way. Yeah, the opening to me has some sort of a citrusy freshness to it. It's definitely spicy and it has this fantastic, slightly sweet fruitiness to it that I think is amazing. There's something in the opening that reminds me a bit of another fragrance. Do you know which? Actually, I was about to say that the opening, when you spray this on, you get this very sweet whiff coming at you that's fruity and caramel like mm. and it reminds me of one million elixir ah okay i was go uh, gonna say that the aromatic side of it and i do think it's the lavender that reminds me a bit of dior savage so the opening of gisada ambassador at least to me is something fresh something spicy and definitely a dose of something aromatic with a bit of fruity sweetness to it the opening is super easy to like yes. and i actually like the opening a lot yeah the opening is incredible and it's not even easy to like it's easy to love so let's move to the dry down of ambassador how are you enjoying this and what i think is fabulous with ambassador is that the dry down is almost as the opening so you can still pick up everything that you picked up in the opening it's just like settled and it's beautiful and I really like that kind of fragrance that when you spray it on it smells incredible and you immediately get what you are getting. I mean it shows its true colors from the start. This is so nice. The dry down to me is mostly like a sweet blend of vanilla and mango with a bit of the lavender on top and I can definitely pick up a bit of patchouli at the base giving it a sort of a dark and witty touch. And I really enjoy the patchouli at the base because it sort of balances up the sweetness in yeah, a fantastic way. It really does. And there's a touch of something ambery around it all. And I actually wish the ambery part of it would have been amped up. But overall, I think the dry down is a fantastic one. Yeah, and what I really love about it is the mango. There are not so many fragrances with mango, but when I get my nose to a fragrance with mango, I usually tend to like them. And the mango in this one is, I would say, kind of prominent in the most beautiful way. So overall, I really enjoy both the opening and the dry down of the original Gisara. As for usage, I'm gonna say, Yes, this is sweet, but I don't find it to be extremely sweet in a way that sort of limits the way you can use it. So definitely use this like fall, winter and spring, but I will for sure use this on like summer night outs as well. I also feel that the overall scent profile is one that most people will enjoy. So while I do recommend, because I find this one to be quite sexy, while I do recommend you to use this when you are going on a date, use it to work as well. Yeah. I find it hard to believe that someone would find this, you know, complain about it. Mm -hmm. And if they complain about it, they got a problem and that problem ain't yours. So let's move on to Gisada Ambassador Interns. So what do you think about the opening? The opening is incredible. Yeah. There is something warm in it. There is definitely something sweet. There are lots of spices. Oof. It's ambery. It's just beautiful. This is so rich and deep and yeah, beautiful. Gisada Ambassador Intense to me opens up with a fantastic dose of like a spicy and citrusy kind of freshness together with a fantastic dose of lavender and a bit of sweetness. And I... I just love it. 
Let's put it that way. Yeah. This is an opening. I I can't get it. I mean, I can't get enough of the entire scent. But the opening, I mean, give it, give it, give it. It's so <laughs> damn good. Oof. There's also some kind of soft smokiness to the opening as well, which just gives it um, another layer of something exciting and to me quite sexy. Yes, and uh, I mean, everyone can tell how much you like this one because I'm not getting a chance to say anything, but you really love this yeah. one. And you have oversprayed this so many times yeah. because you really love the opening. Yeah. But, but I can say that when this is oversprayed, it still smells incredible. Yeah. And the scent trail this leaves is amazing. So let's move on to the Triadon yes. of Quisada and Bassery in terms. And once again, one that's quite like the opening. Uh, not exactly as much as Ambassador. So Ambassador Intense really evolves in a different kind of way, but you can mm -hmm. still feel the opening in the dry down very strong. It doesn't change that much. It becomes maybe a bit more woody, darker, less sweet and more spicy. And it just oozes of elegance and class. This is a fragrance you spray on when you want to get noticed. So the dry down to me is mostly about like a sweet blend of vanilla and caramel together with a bit of patchouli, a bit of leather and everything sort of resting on top of a very soft but a very attractive kind of musk. Yeah. These parts of this and parts of the opening reminds me of the Your Sauvage Elixir. Yeah. But they are different, so I get this question quite a lot. There's, there's definitely similarities, but I also feel they are going in different directions. I absolutely love the dry down. The dry down to me has something incredibly sexy about it. Yeah. And it's not just me. I received so many, even though I only had this for like a few months, for the time period, I received quite a few compliments yeah. for it. And you absolutely yeah. love getting away from this scent. Yeah, and correct me if I'm wrong, haven't we made like a comparison of Elixir and Gisada Ambassador Intense yes. on your channel? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'm gonna link to our comparison of Dior Sauvage Elixir and Gisada Ambassador Intense above. So make sure you check that one out. So here are my thoughts on usage when it comes to Gisada Ambassador Intense. Yes, this is a fragrance that leans a bit more on something heavy, but to my nose, it's not overly heavy or deep in any way. No. Yes, it has a sweet side, but it's not cloying sweet or anything. So what that means essentially is that I feel that this one is quite a versatile kind of scent for it being this kind of scent. So definitely use it for date night or when you are going out. The performance is amazing, so you will get noticed. And those who notice you will definitely enjoy the scent of it. But use it to the office if you want, use it for work if you want, or just when you are going out, because I do believe most people will enjoy getting a whiff of it. As for seasons, fall, winter and spring, definitely but I will definitely use this for summer night outs as well. How do you feel about the usage? No, I think you are absolutely right. You can use this to almost any occasion, any time of the year. You just adjust the sprays and then you're good to go. So it's time to fantastic sense. Which of these would you choose if you could only choose one and why? I have to stop doing these comparisons because this is so hard every time because most of the fragrances we have are amazing. Yeah. And these are once again two quite amazing fragrances. And it's like, is this one, which is the best one, better than this one, which is also the best one? So this is so hard. And when I'm sniffing them, I'm like, no, they are equally good. Mm. I think they both are amazing. But what made me choose one over the other is that sand trail. Mm. And the sand trail of Gisada Ambassador Intense, there is nothing like it. And that's why I'm going to go with Gisada Ambassador Intense. Mm. And I'm gonna say, yeah, probably, if you watched my best fragrances of 2022, then you probably already knew that I really, really like Gisada Ambassador Intense. And here's the thing, the original Gisada is a fantastic scent as well, but there's something 
crazy attractive, crazy addictive about Gisada Ambassador Intense that pulls me into it and I'm gonna say that I absolutely love it. I can't get enough of it and if I could only choose one of these, I'm definitely going with Ambassador Intense. But with that said, I do believe most guys can't go wrong with any of these. No. So I wanna know how you feel about these two. If you could only choose one of these, which one would it be and why? Please put it in the comments. Make sure you like this video. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you head on over to yeah. Solomon Fraser's channel. Subscribe to her, subscribe to me, and I'll see you in the next one.